Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I'm David Northcutt, Sprinter Doctor, and this is a quick video on how to get your rear Knox sensor out so you can replace it. All right, here we go. In this case, we had P3006433 and P300644. All right, for this job, guys, I'm gonna be using my long 22 flex head ratchet wrench and a 22 open end wrench, some cutters, a little hook tool, and a 10 millimeter deep well socket with a battery powered ratchet. Okay, this is a 2019 Sprinter and the rear knock sensor is gonna be behind your soot sensor, which is behind your SCR catalytic converter. All right, so I've already sprayed it with some penetrating oil and let it soak for a little while, probably about 20, 30 minutes. All right, what I'm gonna do to make this easier, I'm just gonna go ahead and clip this wire right here. And then you're just gonna take your 22, get it up on your sensor. Now you got plenty of leverage. <clears throat> Okay, your knock sensor control unit part is up behind this heat shield. You're gonna take this clip, this clip, and this clip off. It's more of a retainer type, but these just turn off. And they're not hard to get off. All right, I'm gonna take this retaining ring off, or this retainer. I'm just gonna take my hook tool inside of it. Be careful because that stuff is shot. Once you bend it down, you can hook it. going to damage it when you take it off so you're going to need three new ones all right i'm gonna get these front ones off two little retainers so i'm just gonna hook into it and pry it down on one side like so and then just kind of bend it down and start to spin it off Again, be very careful because this thing is real sharp and it can cut you. And not only can you cut yourself, if you're pulling on this hook tool and it comes loose, guess what? It can hook into your hand. And so be very, very careful. All right, there's that one. Once you get all three of your retainers off, you can pull it down a little bit to the side, and it'll come out of your way. Okay, once you get your heat shield off, you're just gonna cut these zip ties. Gonna be another zip tie up here close to the knock sensor itself so you're gonna need to cut that one too all right to get your connector loose 
You're gonna take a pocket screwdriver and get right in here. And that will pop out. And then you're gonna press down on this part of the connector. Like this with your thumb. And that'll come off. Okay, once you get your connector unplugged, you're gonna take these two 10 millimeter nuts off. this tab back in like that okay this this retainer right here you can just clip these two pieces off get you a new little zip tie And you have to pull the other little piece of the zip tie out of there that I forgot to do. There we go. Run through there. Like that. And just secure your wire there. zip tie right back where you clip the old one off right about there right. we're gonna take our heat shield kind of roll it If you're at home and you don't have three new clips, you can bend this heat shield out of your way. I don't recommend doing so, but it's your van. If you want to bend this heat shield out of the way, you can get this sensor replaced without taking this heat shield down. Right, some, these, these new clips, just push on there as far up as you can get them, and then you just turn them clockwise to tighten them down. sensor hooks into the front little clip right there your knock sensor hooks into this rear clip then we're just going to screw our new sensor down into the pipe and you're going to use an open end 22 wrench tighten it down all right so now we have it installed we just now have to do the initializations for the new sensor using Zentry 
I do recommend connecting a battery maintainer. So that way you don't drain your battery down. All right, click on the Mercedes icon. Click on the van. Of course, this is a 907. Click on the Zentry diagnosis. It's gonna, it's gonna automatically do a quick test. You can deselect this so it won't do the automatic quick test if you prefer. I always prefer just to let it run the quick test automatically. Click on your little stethoscope. Click on motor electronics. Click continue. Adaptations. Teaching processes, initialization after replacement, not sensors. And just let the teaching process run. Now I'm going to go clear my fault codes. In this case, we had P300643 and P300644. I'm just going to clear that. done all right so that's it guys that's how to replace a rear knock sensor and remember if you don't feel comfortable doing these types of things please bring it to us at mercedes-benz of birmingham we'll get rid of all your sprinter aches and pains and we'd love to see you thanks please like and subscribe